Now, South Africa is home to many innovators and inventors. Next up on the show, we take a quick look at some of the South African innovators who have made their mark both locally and globally. Plus, we look at what the Innovation Hub is doing to help nurture our future innovators. Innovation is defined in the dictionary as something newly introduced, such as a new method or device. South Africa is home to a few innovators who live up to this definition in a big way. The country has a strong history of innovators who have changed the way people all over the world do things. Just to name a few, in 1955, Dr. Trevor Wadley revolutionized the world of map making when he invented the telerometer. Before this, land surveying had depended on tedious manual methods of measuring distance. In 1958, Christian Barnard performed the world's first successful human-to-human -human heart transplant. 1963, Aubrey Kruger designed the Dolois, large strangely shaped concrete blocks that break up wave action and protect harbour walls. This idea was born in one of South Africa's coastal towns, East London. 1969, Patli Patti, the only South African invention to have travelled to the moon and back. The Patti was used to hold bits of the Apollo 11 mission's Eagle landing craft together. The man behind Patli Patti is George Monty Prattley. 1975, Alan McLeod Cormack helped invent the CAT scanner, for which he won a Nobel Physics Prize in 1979. The Creepy Crawley, the world's first automatic pool cleaning unit, was invented by Ferdinand Chauvier from Springs, Gauteng in 1974. More recent South African innovators include Mark Shuttleworth for his Ubuntu computer operating system and Elon Musk for his contribution of PayPal. Today in South Africa there's still a wide range of innovative and entrepreneurial activity and this is backed up by a number of organisations that help provide support for budding innovators, like here at the Innovation Hub in Pretoria. So the Innovation Hub was established by the government in Houteng. Uh, the concept originates from 2001, but we moved into this particular location in 2005. And the idea was to spare innovation uh, for socio-economic development for the province of Houteng. And that's why, I mean, the Houteng province is known as a smart province. McLean Sabanda is a qualified patent attorney and former group executive responsible for commercialization at the Technology Innovation Agency and now CEO of the Innovation Hub. We asked him what makes South Africans so innovative. You know, if one looks at just innovation generally, I mean, innovation uh, is, is, uh, is a response uh, to a particular challenge or situation uh, that people find themselves. And I mean, over the years, uh, people innovate, come up with new ideas and implement those ideas in society uh, because there's a particular challenge. And I think as a country, what we found is that we've found ourselves in difficult uh, situations over the years. Even during apartheid, uh, during the years of isolation, we had no choice but to start to innovate and create solutions to be able to cater for our own needs. Catering for people's needs is just what Musum Samango had in mind when he created Pambili Energy, alternative energy technologies. 500 million people in Africa without power and soaring electricity prices inspired his innovation. Particularly one with the technology, the stove, uh, the Jenga, you know, eco power stove, uh, where people are able to generate their own power in their own households. I think it does in, in one way in that aspect, and then secondly, what it also, you know, says is that uh, people need to start thinking differently. And I think it also, you know, actually giving us an opportunity to say, to interrogate and say, we actually need this energy mix uh, in terms of that. This then creates, you know, an appetite for, 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 for people, particularly the off-grid, because ours with the technology, we're focusing on off-grid uh, technology. Uh, in actual fact, it opens up the market. It opens up the discussions. It allows for talks because now the consumers uh, are actually going to be saying, you know what, uh, you know, we need to discuss this because it's hitting hard on our pockets. So, and that allows, you know, uh, I think we've been sitting too much on a comfort zone and now we're out of that and we need to start engaging that. Uh, you know, the, the, the consumers being the pe people that actually have the final say in terms of what goes where and what, they will then uh, start embracing some of these technologies that seeks to actually shield them against, uh, you know, such, uh, you know, electricity hikes. Hopefully we'll see some more innovative companies like Pambili Energy come out of the Innovation Hub in the near future. Denim Ponds, the Innovation Hub, Pretoria.